We both have jobs that require us to be essential or uh, sacrificial. A biscuit, it's bread. It's not a cookie. It's just bread. But it's different. It's not bread. The first couple of videos that came out with, I was like, all right, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Tyler, I love you, dude, Tyler, but yeah, put paleo broccoli polio. What did I used to call this guy? The character I always do. Uh, actually, your wife's name is... <laughs> it's on the tip of my... I want to say Tyler, but it's not Tyler. It's a really... It's a really white boy name. <laughs> I know I can go on Marketplace. I know I can buy you stuff. I know. Oh, I bought a birdhouse. Masbuto. Now I'm excited for all these other things that I've never been excited for, like birdhouses and grass seed. Wifey was twerking, and it's not, what you, not the kind that you think. The kind that I got. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Boy Swap at Boom here with another mukbang video. What's going on? How are ya? For shout outs, requests, and dedications, make sure to hit us up on all our social media platforms. That also includes our most active social media platform, which is going to be on Instagram. If you want to hit us up on there, that is Love at First Bite Vlog. That is our most active Instagram. We're always on there. Uh, I was actually um, <laughs> annoying Ebby a little bit uh, because she keeps posting Rocky stuff on Love at First Bite. And I'm like, listen, this is a food foodie type of Instagram and um, <laughs> she, I keep telling her you know Rocky has his own Instagram just put it on there it's like no there's not enough people I want everybody to see I'm like, right. so if you want to follow us I love it first bite vlog awesome but if you want to follow Rocky on his Instagram that is love at first bark vlog um, and then she also has her own Instagram and I have my own Instagram and you know, then we have like TikTok and then we have like Facebook and Twitter and all. But I'm gonna leave all the links down below in the description box. Make sure to hit us up and follow us, man. You know, double hearts and triple hearts and comment and all that stuff uh, right there on our most active social media platform, Instagram. Love at first by vlog. Oh, coldest water bottle. If you wanna get your own coldest water bottle, make sure to. Hit that link down below, promo code BOOM. You can get a big one like this, it's a 64 ounce, or you can get the smaller one, which is 20 ounce. Um, they come in all shapes and sizes, the different colors, the engravings, all that stuff. We use this bad boy all the time. I'm just saying the same thing I say all the time. So get your hook up, hit that link down below, promo code BOOM. Cold as water bottle, keep your hot stuff hot and cold stuff cold. Check this out. When's the last time I done this? It's been a minute. I feel like, I'm gaining weight, yo. This quarantine, this quarantine is making us be very lax on our keto diet because we haven't been doing it. We've just been chilling inside, hanging out. Uh, fortunately, we both have, fortunately and unfortunately, we both have jobs that require us to be essential and um, or uh, sacrificial. Uh, <laughs> funny, not funny. I, I know. I can't joke around about stuff, but um, we are working and we are getting a certain amount of extra pay and whatnot for us being out there. Um, I'm, I'm literally doing the basic stuff in my job. Like I'm not going, I'm not putting myself, I already told everybody, I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like I'll do this, but that's it. Like, you know, I know, thank you all for hooking me up with more money, but I'm not walling out with what I'm doing. So, and same thing goes with, with the wife, you know, she's being as careful as she can at work. You know, we're taking all the precautions, but so far so good. We're we're blessed to be healthy and be home and as much as possible and and uh, shop as much as we can, like all at once, so we're not out and about in public. But um, yeah, biscuits and gravy. For all you guys out there that have not seen all my biscuits and gravy uh, videos, this is a popular one. I keep getting requests for this and for mom's chicken tacos. Um, Oh, and somebody asked for the mozzarella stick video and somebody else asked for the, like all the classics. People keep asking me for the videos. A biscuit is a Southern classic. It's bread. It's not a cookie. Like people in Europe call it. It's just bread, but it's different. It's not bread. I don't know how to describe it. If somebody wanted, wants to describe what a biscuit is in the South, go ahead and do it in the comments. So basically this is uh, two biscuits that I cut in half, folded them up, open and then I've got scrambled eggs on top 
and um, white uh, southern style breakfast gravy. Uh, this is the one with the sausage on it. Um, that's it. It's early in the morning and I'm tired. So let's just get into it. Oh, and I got my cafecito. Cheers. Let's do a thumbnail with the cafecito. How about that? I'll be down here like, oh, you know, this all. I mean, look at it like. Okay, let's do it. ass biscuits. Mm. I actually haven't had these. I think the last time I had them, I filmed. Look at that. Maybe this will be a thumbnail. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, good. Quick shout out. Thank, well, two shout outs about the same thing. Thank you to everybody out there going over to, <clears throat> to my homeboy's channel, Paleo Broccoli. I'll see you, homie. And um, thank you to all you guys going over there and showing him much love. Um, He's slowly but surely getting into the mukbang groove of things. Um, if you didn't watch my past couple of videos, uh, then I'll just give you a refresher. Paleo Broccoli is my homeboy, Tyler. He is a homie, uh, a brother from another mother that lives here in my city and decided to dabble in this community and I let him know that this community is probably either one of the best or the best communities to be in for like a stepping stone into YouTube. Mm. And what I mean by that is some people want to go on YouTube and do like, I want to do nature videos. I want to do pet videos. I want to do, you know, um, cooking videos. I want to do like at home, how to do how to videos, like whatever, you know, whatever your hobby is. But they just, you know, they, they're not comfy yet. They don't want to buy this. They don't want to do that and whatever. Um, I don't want to downplay what I do or what anybody else does in this particular genre. But this shit's easy. This is one of the easiest things. The hardest thing to do when starting a YouTube channel is to start to start doing it because you're not comfortable yet. And one of the easiest things we all do as human beings in life is eat. We love eating. That's the number one thing. No matter, I don't care what culture you're from. I don't care what religion, what political group, what, I don't care. We all eat. And there's a lot of people that like to talk and they come on here, get something to eat, make a sandwich, start filming and talk about their day and do whatever. And then one video, two videos, three, 10, 20, and then they get really comfortable in front of the camera. Because right now, I'm by myself in this room. By myself in this house. And I'm just talking to my iPhone right now. 
And that's anybody outside looking in, that's weird. I'm literally so comfortable talking to y'all right now. Like it's nothing, not a big deal. When you first start out, it's weird. Um, I, I don't know what he wants to do with YouTube. I don't know if he wants to stay with this particular genre. But I will say this. My boy is getting comfy, comfy in front of the camera. Because his last video, he ate like a fried pork, um, pork katsu with rice and broccoli. It looked amazing. And he's just chatting with you guys, chatting about anything. And, you know, the first couple of videos he came out with, I was like, all right, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Tyler, I love you, dude, Tyler, but... Yeah, I was just happy that you just started, for real. I was just happy that you did it. And I have a lot of homies on here that I've been friends with on YouTube that I've never even met in real life, you know? But I'm like, I've known them for years now and I influenced them to start a channel. And it's the best thing. But the coolest thing about him is that he's like my homie in real life. So that... So when I see him, it's like, hey, man, how's your channel doing? Good, how's yours, blah, blah, blah. And it's just cool to talk to somebody in real life that's physically in front of you about this weird thing that we do. So, again, Tyler, my homeboy, a.k.a. Put Paleo Broccoli. Polio? <laughs> Paleo Broccoli, man. Shout out to you. You have an awesome channel. Please keep doing videos like the last one. And um, let me tell you something. I don't know if he wants me to put his business out there. And he's not really, you know, in the dating game anymore. But that dude's got some hilarious dating stories that I feel like he should talk about. Because that's relatable too. Tyler, what do you think, man? Do it up. So, everybody watching this, please... Go to my homie's channel, Paleo Broccoli. I'm going to leave the link down below unless I forget. Uh, you can go to my liked videos. I shared it, whatever. He'll probably comment on this. I don't know. I'll do something. I'll link his thing somewhere. But go check him out. Or you can just type in the search bar, Paleo Broccoli channel. I'm right there. Go check him out. Mm. Man, so all this time off, what we've been doing is little things to begin with, like cleaning the house, getting our all our shit straight, um, buying little things here and there for the house. Uh, I know I talk about this all the time, but we moved into a new house. We have not done a house tour yet um, that we plan on doing on Love It First Bite, uh, the YouTube channel. And who knows if we ever will. <laughs> but I am new to the game when it comes to having a house. And um, I did some gardening today. I, well, the wife and I, Dolce Foodie. Um, shout out to Dolce Foodie. Wow, we know that's her name. Uh, yeah. What did I used to call this guy? The character I always do. Uh, actually, your wife's name is... What did I used to call it? Uh, it's on the tip of my... I want to say Tyler, but it's not Tyler. It's a really... It's a really white boy name. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, Chad, that's what it was. It was Chad, the Chads. Where was I going with this? Yeah, the, the person that I, the impression I do of the, uh, actually, that his name was Chad. I remember I used to do that back in the day. Like I was saying, like I was saying, I'm off track here. I started doing some gardening. So I went to Lowe's and 
And I know, I know I can go on Marketplace. I know I can buy you stuff. I know. I want some new news. So I went to Lowe's and I bought, I'm almost 40 and I'm Mexican. And like, I do not know anything about this stuff. So I bought a hoe, a shovel, uh, oh, some garden seed or grass seed, uh, a couple plants. We planted them today. Gang, 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 gang. Uh, oh, and I bought a, oh, I bought a birdhouse. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm excited about these things. I'm excited about buying a birdhouse. And I, I like hung it in the front porch, like right outside the window of the couch that I sit in. Um, so I can like, whoop, I can just drink my cup of tea and be like, oh, look at that. It's a bird. Is that, you know, is that weird that I'm excited about these things? You know, I feel like I got the party out of me. You know what I mean? Like, like your teenage years all the way throughout your 20s, maybe into your early 30s, you know, give or take the level of trash person you are. You know what I mean? I got it all out of my system. You know, now I'm excited for all these other things that I've never been excited for, like um, birdhouses and grass seed and patio furniture. <laughs> I saw this video on TikTok that was like, why are white people so excited for kitchen islands? <laughs> I keep seeing these like, anyways, if you want to follow me on TikTok, Berto Smalls, last video did great, about 1,200 views, wifey was twerking, and it's not what you, not the kind that you think, the kind that I got. I don't know why she don't know how to dance like that, you know what I mean? Anybody out there, any men out there that are like, they have a significant other, whether it's a girlfriend or wife that has a bomb, like a bomb ass body, like small ways, and then, you know what I mean? But they just don't know, you know what I mean? Like they just dance all like awkward at the club. Like they don't know how to really like, you know what I'm <laughs> She don't do that. <laughs> she don't know how to like, you know what I mean? And I've been to the Latin clubs. I've been to the black clubs. I've been to all those like, you know, all throughout my 20s. Now I got the love of my life. Music is a big part of my life. And so she, I want to merge the two together. You know what I mean? Post me up, yo. Post me up against the wall with my drink. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can twerk with an instant. And then, 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 then. Let me stop. She go wash it. And she be like, why are you talking about me twerking? Because she's, you know, she's a big dork. She's a big, sexy dork. And I love her. I'll take it. You know what? I, you know what? Maybe I don't need her to learn how to dance sexy. Maybe I just need to learn to dance dorky. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe I need to step it up. Maybe she up here and I'm down here. You know what I mean? I don't need no girl grinding on my... I need a dorky girl to do the running man with. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, that's the cabbage patch. That's... No, is it? What did I do? Hit the Juan, hit the Juan. Look, I almost finished it, okay? I know you judging, I know you out there like, wow, is this guy gonna eat or is he just gonna talk the whole time? <laughs> yo, this, this, the other day, I, this, yo, my favorite, my favorite kind of trolling are from trolls that don't, aren't really trolls. I got a comment the other day that literally was just this. Wow, this dude is ugly as hell. And I've never seen that guy before, and it was, I had me cracking up. That's the best kind of troll. Just say it. Don't no wittiness. Just say it. Now, 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 never mind. Now, now I set myself up right now. All y'all go, okay. Now. Well, anyways. Thank you so much for having breakfast with me. Thumbs up the video if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all on the next video. I'm doing uh, chili and cornbread. All right, y'all. Peace.